Hello everybody, my name is Lee Roadhammer with Shop Saber CNC. Around here they call me Rody. Today we're going to talk about the integrated material list in the Shop Saber CNC controller. So let's dive into the material list. As you can see, the cursor is already over the config button. All we have to do is left click, opens the box up. You'll notice here on the right in this box, there is settings all the way to 125 amps. So 45 to 125 amp for the power maxes. Now, if you have an 85 power max, obviously you can only go to 85 amps. So you can use anything between 45 and 85 amps. All those settings are available. We're currently on 14 gauge mild steel, 45 amps, but we have 14 gauge mild steel. And we want to use a fine cut. So what we do is we just scroll down, point, click. You notice all the settings here has changed to the basic book settings. Now, basic, what does that mean? That means that you may have to make adjustments for your application. As you're cutting, Sometimes you might notice something like you're going a little too fast, a little too slow. So let's say that we want to change that feed rate. Yeah, we're a little fast. We need to slow it down. Just like that, left click, highlight it. Let's go to 185. We'll go over here to save, save. So there's one more thing I want to show you. Let's go up here to torch tip information. You click on it. It also has the factory base settings from the manual in there. As you'll notice, They'll also have the consumables with the part numbers for ease. We close it out, all you have to do is hit done. Now let's say that you have like a custom thing that you know that you're, you're cutting and you want to do a, a brand new add-in. Really simple. There is an add button here. But we can come down here to new config and you'll see that it comes up. Now all you have to do is type in the top bar what the material is. Then you can go into adding your settings. Most time when you put a, a new configuration in or it's a custom job, you're gonna have to do some tweaking and you're gonna have to get a base. So sometimes you might start with a material that is a light material, a little thinner or a little thicker, and you use those base settings, then you're gonna manipulate the settings through to adjust for a better cut. After you've made all your adjustments and you've named it, all you have to do is go to add, and it will add it to the material list. Then you go down here to done, and press done. And that's pretty much how easy it is. To switch materials, add materials, change materials, manipulate what's already in there, it's all pretty easy. We've done everything for you. There's none of this paging through a paper manual. If you have an older machine that came with a paper manual, or if you get a newer machine that has a PDF, you don't have to bounce from back screens and then bounce into the controller screen and you're, you're copying things down, paper everywhere. We've made it this simple. So with that, my name is Lee Roadhamel. Thank you for watching. If you have any further comments or questions, contact shopsaber.com. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook.